I'm picking Kobe up from his first ever puppy bath and brush. I open the door and I literally can't believe it. Are you kidding me? He just looks so fluffy and he's like super soft too. Now we're in the parking lot. He doesn't get into the car because of course our little friend had to potty. Now we're heading back to the car and he just looks so happy. I mean, look at that face. We finally get to the car and he's clearly ready to leave. Like he's looking at me like I don't want to be here anymore. Which honestly makes me wonder what they did to him. But anyways, he was loving the AC in his face, fell asleep on my lap. So I had to go to Starbucks and get him a puppuccino. He absolutely loved every bit of it. But let me tell you, after a puppy bath and brush, this may have been one of the worst ideas ideas I've ever had. Not only is he now sticky, but he also smells like whipped cream. But you know, I don't think anyone really noticed, so that's good. I give the two baby slots to the sloth. Mother Goose bought a new iPhone case and the baby lion's chewing on a tree. Bob the Builder, of course, is giving us his legendary salmon in a packet special, and this plant almost fell on his head. The baby lion wants to play soccer, the sky is gorgeous, we're listening to our favorite songs, and guess who doesn't want us to watch TV? This little thief takes the Apple TV remote, runs away like a gazelle, the sloth picks him up, and I still can't take it from him. Let's just say it cost us a lot of treats. Anyways, we saw a massive centipede, and the baby lion almost ate it.